far we have discussed about encapsulation inheritance and in today's video we are going to discuss about polymorphism so as from the word you would get poly means many so what is the main purpose of polymorphism so if you go through any website you will get a, a more theory on it but i will tell you about polymorphism in very simple terms so you have gone through my video on inheritance right so in inheritance you would have seen that when we inherit the uh, base class or when we inherit the parent class then we get all the properties of our base class or say parent class so in that case what is happening from the uh, extended class or we can say child class you can access the properties as well as the methods of the parent class or base class but uh, from the base class uh, or from the parent class can you access the properties of the child class let's see that first let's declare one class class uh, suppose name is parent and uh, suppose we have one function so let's print so we have this function print in this function print what we will do we will write like this we are inside parent class okay so this is our method so end function then end class so let's inherit so and we will declare a child okay child which extends we have to use the keyword extend for inheritance parent then uh, we will display we will declare the same property here also let's copy paste it we will save some time so okay then what we will declare here is we are inside child class okay so what is happening we have declared the same property so the basic principle where you can make use of polymorphism you have to see the condition first that whenever you write the same method in the child class then only you can uh, control the child class property that is where that is uh, this in parent class if you see our task or our method that is function uh, method means task or function so our function is a print so in the child class also we are uh, naming it as a print only our uh, method so in that case only polymorphism concept comes into picture so if you see module top uh, let's create one handle parent p child c and in initial begin block let's assign the memory and uh, let's assign the memory and let's call out the method p dot print c dot print in the end and end module so uh, select synopsis vcs and run so let's see whether it's working or not So yes, we are getting we are inside parent class, we are inside child class. So this inside spelling error wrong. Okay. So now what we have to do is from the parent class we have to access the property of the child class. This is our main motto. So what we will do, we will just copy the handle. We will just assign the handle of a child class to the parent class. Okay. And let's see whether it works or not. So if you see here, we are again getting we are inside parent class only. 
whenever so what is our aim is whenever you write p dot print so whenever you call this print method what should happen this child class print method should be called that is we are inside the child class should be printed but if you see here we are inside the parent class is getting printed so in order to in order that our polymorphism works the main important thing you should keep in the mind is the keyword virtual you have to write virtual in parent class to your method okay so now if you see if you run this you will see that okay you are getting we are inside the child class so this is how the polymorphism works so for the main motto of the polymorphism is more polymorphism is that with the help of the uh, from the parent class you have to access the properties or the methods of the child class so this is our main motto so now uh, one more thing you should keep in mind is you cannot write like this you cannot talk c equal to p you cannot do this why you cannot do this see you will see here the reason you can't do this is because the inheritance itself has given you the uh, option of accessing the properties or the method of the parent class so if you write this it won't work it will give you an error so you should write p equal to c that is c means child p means parent so always uh, if you want to access the property of the child class from the parent class you have to give the handle you have to assign your handle of child class to parent class so this child class parent class these are just terminology for our understanding okay so i hope that you would have understood this video so if you would have liked this video please like share and subscribe to our channel and do tell your friends to join our telegram channel that is vlsi chaps so guys 